How's it going you guys? Today we're talking about trying to find some ways to eliminate the horrible 60 cycle hum that comes with single coils. Now countless guitar players all over the world, like me, cannot live without the good sound of a single coil pickup. There's just something about that chime and that clarity, especially when played clean, that can't be duplicated by a humbucker. This however comes at a fairly steep price. As soon as you start adding gain, even minimal gain, you get horrible buzz and hum. So even, you know, just brought to classic rock levels, which, you know, a single coil should be able to do. And that is what you're rewarded with. So today we're going to look at a few ways that we as players can minimize some of that hum and buzz. And we're going to look at a few different systems that manufacturers have come up with to eliminate it. Now the first line of defense that we have against hum and buzz is simply to use your volume control or a volume pedal. So when you're not playing, kill the signal and that's going to eliminate that ear fatiguing nasty hum. And of course this works well in certain styles. So if you're playing and then you take a break and you're playing and you're kind of coming in and out um, with, you know, reasonable breaks in between, that can be pretty effective. And then you take your break or whatever and then you come back in. However, this falls apart, um, you know, fairly quickly. If you need long sustained notes, you're still going to have a ton of hum and buzz creeping in. So it really doesn't help in a situation like that. And of course, the other situation would be um, if you're a rhythm player and you're doing, you know, rhythmic shots or a really rhythmic part, you can't ride that volume fast enough. So it does fall apart fairly quickly, but it's our first line of defense. Now the second thing that we can do to help minimize some of the hum and buzz is simply to beef up the shielding in our guitars. So you guys have seen me use shielding paint um, on all our build projects. Uh, it's very easy to use and you can do, you know, three to four coats very quickly and very easily. Um, I don't think it's quite as effective as like copper foil, but it's just so easy. So uh, I love using that. And then beefing up the shielding on our pick guards as well. So this is, uh, I'll link to some of the stuff in the video description below, but um, this was from Solo Gear. Uh, it's just got peel off sections. You put it on the back of your pick guard and then cut out. I think they also have like pre-cut strat pick guards. Uh, so it's super easy to use and it can help minimize some of the buzz. Now certainly doing all this extra shielding work is not for everybody. There's a ton of players who just want to play. They're not into modding. They don't want to, you know, take the strings off, pull the pick guard out, do all this, you know, shielding extra work, especially if they've forked out the money for an American professional telly or strat. They just want to play it and not have to deal with a ton of the buzz. Now, so far, those two options leave a lot to be desired. Like I said before, they can be helpful, but they are far from perfect. Now, the third thing that we can do as players to help minimize hum and buzz is to simply modify the way we play. And I really hate this, and I don't even really want to talk about it, but we do it as players, and it's a real shame. So hopefully we'll get onto some real solutions for you guys. Um, but what I mean by that is maybe you want to play a high gain riff and you modify the way you play it by turning the gain down because you hate all that hum and buzz or you're jamming with your friends and they're like, whoa, where's all that sound coming from? And you're like, that's eh, me. <laughs> so we'll turn the gain down and it won't sound like the riff we're trying to play. Or maybe we'll use um, position four in a strat instead of the neck pickup. So position four is hum canceling, so it gets rid of all the hum, but it doesn't sound like the neck pickup, but we'll use position four anyways just to get rid of it. Or we'll use position two on a strat instead of the bridge pickup. Really, we should be playing on that bridge pickup to get that sound, but we'll go to position two and get sort of like a quacky, weird sounding distortion, and we'll just live with it because we hate the hum. All right, so far we're not doing so well. These solutions are very unsatisfying and not that effective. They're about the same as somebody just saying, embrace the hum. The hum is amazing. You'll learn to love the hum. And a lot of players are like, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't know if I really love that. So we're going to get into some actual solutions or different products or different systems that different companies use to actually eliminate the hum. All right, so let's look at the first actual solution. 
and it is the mighty gate. The gate is the single coil player's best friend. And if you don't have one or know what it is, we're going to talk about it today, but it is an amazing solution to eliminating 60 cycle hum. Now, if you typically record direct using bias effects or S gear or Amplitube or guitar rig or whatever, there are going to be gates in all those different software solutions. So you need to turn them on and make use of them. Now, if you guys play with a traditional rig with pedals and amps, there are a ton of different stomp box noise eliminators or gate pedals. So if you have a favorite, drop it in the comments below. It'll help other people looking for great gate pedals. Now today I'm just plugged in with my Helix. So I'm gonna show you guys the difference between using the gate and not. So obviously you guys know, you know, without the gate, there's gonna be a lot of hum. Okay, and then I'm just gonna turn it on. Now when I dial my volume up, it's up fully, guess what? beautifully silent and then if we play and the gate works so well even with tight shots and then if I turn the gate off So it's just incredible how it eliminates all the in-between portions of hum, even when you're doing like, you know, those really rhythmic sections. Now, of course, there's compromises when using a gate. If your gate's set too strong, some of your softer dynamics will be eliminated. Or they'll sound a little weird as the gate isn't sure if it should open up or close or just let a little bit of the signal through. Um, or sometimes, you know, the very first attack the note can sound a little weird. <laughs> kind of like out of nowhere, it misses the first part of the note. Now the Helix one is pretty good, but if you have the settings a little wonky, it can do both of those things. If you're playing too quiet, you won't hear. So there's all sorts of things um, with the first part of the note, the attack of the note, um, or the dynamic range that can kind of get a little squished down. Now the other main thing is you're going to lose a little bit of sustain. So if I just play a note here, uh, the gate is on, so it'll open up, let the note through, and then close up when it thinks it should. Okay, it kind of fades it out and you don't hear a lot of that hum. Now when I turn it off, So with the gate on, as the note sustained out, you could sort of hear how the gate slowly closed and then shut the signal off. So it can shorten your sustain if you use a gate, but overall it's totally worth it, especially if you kind of get the settings or dial them in uh, just the way you want them. It can really eliminate all the hum and buzz, um, especially even you know with those fast rhythmic passages. I thought it sounded natural, it sounded good. It sounds like a single coil, so it's not modifying the sound of your guitar, just eliminating the hum and buzz. All right, so we've got one real world practical way to eliminate hum and buzz. Let's look at a couple more. Now, if you're the type of guitar player that doesn't actually use pedals or doesn't want to buy a gate pedal and figure out how it works, you just want to pick up a guitar and play. Well, thankfully, there's solutions for you too. First of all, there is the silent circuit as used by Music Man, as used by Sir, and I think there's aftermarket solutions as well that you can install on a Strat or Tele. So if anybody out there makes one and wants to send one in for the channel for us to try out, I'd love to try one out. Um, and otherwise, there are noiseless pickups. So silent circuit versus noiseless. Really interesting stuff. Uh, a couple months ago, I did a comparison between Fender's latest single coils and Fender's latest noiseless pickups. I'll put a link to that one above if you guys are curious um, you know, what the tonal differences are. So the silent circuit is powered by a nine volt battery and it really helps to reduce the hum. It doesn't eliminate it, but it does reduce it. So here's what it sounds like. So probably about half the intensity as you know without it. So I'm gonna pull the battery out so, you, so that you guys can hear the difference uh, in a second, but you know, it, it eliminates all the issues that you may have with a gate in terms of like your notes sustaining out and all those things. So here's what it sounds like.
So just really great sounding single coils. All right, so here's the hum and buzz with the battery in and with the battery out. So as you can hear, it eliminates a lot of it, but not all of it. All right, so now let's check out Fender's N4 noiseless pickups. So I'm gonna raise the volume and let's listen to the hum. So considering I've got like studio lights and monitors and computers and cameras and a ton of things plugged in, um, quite a bit you know more silent than the regular single coil so it does a good job probably on par you know with the silent circuit um, of course the silent circuit allows you to run regular single coils and these are more of like a stack design um, that generally sound like a single coil um, they have a really nice pleasing sound but um, you know they're not true single coils <laughs> Okay, so far we've got riding the volume, which can work in certain situations. We've got adding extra shielding, which you really shouldn't have to do if you buy a high-end Fender or any other single coil guitar. It should be done from the factory properly for you. And modding guitars and doing all that stuff is not for everybody. So a little bit of hit and miss there. Uh, thirdly, modifying the way you play. Really shouldn't have to do that, but it does work. You can use hum cancelling uh, positions or lower your gain um, to eliminate hum. Now, as for real solutions, we've got using a gate. This one, highly recommended by me. It's super effective, and if you get the settings right, um, you know, can be really unnoticeable. Like, it, it's relatively natural sounding. So, a huge solution there. Um, but for people who just want pick up and play, Silent Circuit is awesome. Allows you to use true single coil pickups for true single coil sounds and eliminates most of the hum. So, I think we'll do a hum reduction comparison in a second here. Um, and then of course we've got the noiseless pickups and the third option for just pick up and play is a hybrid system. All right, and lastly, we've got the D'Angelico Deluxe Bedford, one of the coolest guitars to come out last year. Just an awesome instrument. Uh, do yourself a favor, try one out if you haven't yet. Super versatile. So anyway, we've got Seymour Duncan stacked neck pickup. So we're in humbucker mode right now, so I'll turn the volume up, nice and quiet. <laughs> Okay, and then we can go into single coil. So immediately when I go to single coil, you can really hear the hum increase, right? So it's kind of a really cool hybrid system where, you know, if you're in a situation where there's a lot of hum and buzz, well, you know what, just leave it in the hum canceling mode. And if you're in a situation where you can really control it and you want you know, more of that kind of high chimey single coil, just split it and away you go. Okay, let's do a hum reduction comparison between our three different systems. First of all, noiseless pickups and the silent circuit. And we're gonna throw in uh, the Seymour Duncan stacked single coil as well, just to hear you know, how those all compare. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, be sure to subscribe to the channel. And other than that, you can check out the t-shirt store and the tab store in the video description below. Have yourself a great week.